this computer is saying that this transmission is shifting but we can't fill but one shift so I'm going to look at what this transmission says we have commanded gear look at the solenoids right here All right, take it through his gears. <laughs> okay, stop. Did you feel it? Did you feel the shift? One time. Okay. Uh, again. All right, let me let me check this amp clamp. The computer is saying that it's shifting. Let me check the amp. What I'm gonna do is use an amp clamp, and I'm going to see. This is shifting. I have a shift solenoid strategy here. In first gear, it's supposed to be on, on. Second gear, off and on. Third gear, off, off. And fourth gear, on and off. These are the shift solenoids, would be A and B. So A will be on and on. Off, on, off, off. On and off. This allow me to know if the computer is actually doing what it says. I'm gonna hook down by the case connector. <clears throat> ah, shucks. Let's see here. Shift solenoid A is a green wire. Let's see. All right, shift solenoid A is on. It's showing negative. I just have to change the um, clamp around for it to be positive. But it's showing it's going 40, 46 amps. Is that point four six amps? Okay. That's the green wire. Okay. Yellow wire. The first gear. Also showing 40.47 amps. Okay, so it's current going through the solenoids in, in gear one. So I'm gonna do with gear two. And I'm gonna watch the uh, as we go from two to three to four, see if the solenoid is going to be on. Alright. Okay, I am in first gear. This is on shift solenoid A. Okay, it's hard to see both of these at the same time. Alright, Billy. Alright, try to take it through the gears. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, go ahead. This first, go ahead. Second, third, and fourth. Stop. Okay, like put your foot on the brake just a little bit so it, it won't just run away a bit. Go ahead. First.
Got it on too hard because you're going from first to second, first to second. Go. First, second. Now you went to. All right. What you. Hey, Billy. Billy. Don't ride the brake. Just let it go. First, second, third. Okay, let your foot off the brake, off the gas a little. Alright, it's showing third gear here. And all the solenoids are off. Why did it? All right, do that again. All right, now let off the gas just a little. Stay right, stay at that RPM right there. Okay. Third gear. Solenoid 1 2 is off, and on the amp clamp, it shows it's off in third gear. All right, go up a little bit. All right, hold it there. All right, we see it's in fourth gear. That solenoid is on. Is one two, and you can see on the amp clamp the current is going on. Okay, stop. All right, I'm about to get to the uh, solenoid B now. Hold on, let me go around there. Solenoid A is doing fine. All right, first. Uh, First gear. Hold on, hold on. Got, got first gear and two three shift solenoid and it's on. And on the amp clamp is showing it's on with 56 amps. Okay, point 50. Okay, go ahead. First. That's first, second. That's uh, it's point five. Okay, go again. Okay, now let's lower the RPMs just a bit. Right there. Okay, drop it down a bit. Now, up a bit. Up a bit. Up just a bit. I'm trying to let it stay in second gear. Right there. Uh, up a bit. A little bit more. That's second gear. Okay. No, it's third gear. Okay, down. All 
I try it again, I'm gradually Alright, that's it. The, the uh, computer is doing its job. It's sending the voltage like it's supposed to. Um, and the amps are going through, so. <sighs> but it still has the one shift. You can turn the ignition on just to. Yep. Hmm. Okay, this is the transmission that's out that 2005 uh, Tahoe where we were checking the shift solenoids and with the amp clamp and we were seeing that the computer was commanding this thing to shift when it wasn't so I took this apart and I'll tell you what I found don't know if this had anything to do with this but right here it had a ball here which it was stuck inside here it had to be knocked out this wedges itself and beats out the hole some time ago all the way through this is in the plate okay so that's gonna have to be fixed um, also I saw this bearings were missing out here you can see them on the ground here I see these are no good, they're gone. But there's something else I found. Where is that piece? Oh man, oh there it is. This piece right here, this was in there. Now when you have a piece like this, you better find out where it went. Because you end up putting something back that's broken and you don't know it's broken. So I don't know where this metal piece came off. So I'm going to have to inspect every single thing um, to see what is missing. This part right here. Okay. So that was in this transmission. So what happens is when we took the test with the meter and saw that the amp meter and clamp and saw that the computer was actually commanding the solenoids to do their job it should have been shifting you have no choice but to now go inside the transmission and see what is going on so oh I forgot to tell you this this is another thing I'll show you this this is way more important the band was burnt up so it couldn't apply too well. That's another bad thing here. Maybe it could have been because of that ball, but this band is no good. So as I'm going to rebuild this transmission, I'll find out what's going on. I'll see what's going on. But again, using the amp clamps led me to going inside this transmission to see that there were some things that were bad. Um, I didn't check the, the drum here, the three, the three. Oh, look at that. The three, five reverse drum clutches. See, they're burnt up. I can see them all. Look how much space is in there. See, they're torn up. You see? Let, let me take some of these apart. Okay. I took this apart here. And I can see where these are all burnt up. Look at that. Look at that. See? The computer, that's it. I had to trust that amp clamp. Tell it, the computer was saying it was telling it to shift and it wasn't doing it. Look at that. That's no good. Clutch is no good. All right.